I do get why some people like big screen smartphones. They are good to watch movies on, great to play games on and even better to surf the web with. However, when I see a device like this being ousted, it appears to be more funny than functional. And dare you say that I'm holding a tablet, no? For Samsung, it is just a big screen phone. My name is Sid and this is my 60 second review of the Samsung Galaxy J Max. Should you be spending around 13,000 rupees on this phone? Well, let's quickly find out. Now the phone looks and feels quite big because it is, but the designing is inspired from Samsung Galaxy J-series smartphones which means it's plasticky and not premium. But one thing I like about this design is that it has a separate micro SD card slot apart from the dual SIM slots. Coming to display, it's big at 7 inches but the resolution is rather average. Also being an AMOLED, it can get a lot bright, however not automatically since the phone lacks an ambient light sensor. Coming to performance, the phone disappoints. If not with the Spectrum processor, then by all means by the 1.5 GB of RAM. The games though are playable, lack the finesse with which they run on the peers. The software feels familiar. The phone has narrow lollipop atop Samsung own TouchWiz and features like dual windows make this whole thing a bit more productive. Cameras on the other hand are average. Days are clearer, indoors are noisy and nights are dull. Lastly, the battery life on this thing is average. 8 hours on a single charge and charging is not that fast too. Whew. So the review gets done with some time to spare on the clock. And before I tell you my verdict and whether you should be buying it or not, I would want you to have a look at the spec sheet once, just for a revision of specs. So, how's the phone? Well, firstly, it is not a phone. I do not know why Samsung is trying to pitch it as a smartphone, but it is not. It is just a tablet with voice calling capabilities. It does not fit in my pockets, it is very bulky in its design, and it is not very convenient to talk on. It is not a phone. Xiaomi Mi Max that I've reviewed a couple of months back, it has a 6.44 in screen and that too qualifies for a phone because of its convenient form factor, thin design, small bezels. But this one, I'm sorry, I cannot call this a phone. Also at a price tag of 13 and a half thousand rupees, uh, you can get better phones with 5.5 in screens, better in terms of specifications. And even if you're hell bent to buy a big screen smartphone, the Xiaomi Mi Max, in my opinion, is a better phone in all regards. So my verdict is, only buy the J Max if you want a talking tablet from Samsung and nothing else. So that sums up the small review of this big phone, Samsung Galaxy J Max. If you have any questions about the device, post them in the comment box below if you want to chat, post still. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Do not forget to share this video and do give me a thumbs up. My name is Sid, keep seeing me. Ciao.